This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Ford F250 Super Cab. That's a four-door extra cab, long bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's the FX4 off-road suspension package. Um, has a, uh, looks like a brand new fifth wheel hitch that probably doesn't look like it's ever been used. I'd say it got stolen right after the older gentleman who owned it put new tires and a hitch in it and then it got stolen anyway it was a theft recovery purchased on a uh, clear title directly from an insurance company in denver um and it has extremely low miles verified by the carfax i'll show you in a minute of fifty-five thousand eight hundred and ten miles um also in that carfax i'm not sure why but it says that it has damage to the right front I've already looked, the hood's original, the fender's original. I have no idea how they came up with that. I think that they have the wrong car, is what I think. This thing has zero evidence of anything happening over there or over here. All the fenders are original, paint's original. I have no idea what they're talking about. Um, and the timing, I'll show you the car facts. You'll kind of understand why the timing is kind of weird of that, of that entry. Um, Anyway, we bring them here. We do an inspection. My guys hand me this very low miles, runs, drives, and looks fantastic. What did we do to it? Uh, the thieves broke a lot of the, well, broke the ignition, broke the driver door lock cylinder and the handle. We had to replace all three of those. One battery is new and the CAC boot, which is that little blue sleeve on the turbo pipes on, the, on top of the motor, I'll point at it, had to be replaced. And uh, we had sent it to detail. See Carfax and video. Miles are correct, 50,000 miles. Total loss is due to theft payout. It's uh, clear title always. Uh, current title is clear. It was never salvaged. The word salvage never shows up in the Carfax, which I will show you. Shows right front damage in Carfax. We see nothing. Um, I think, <laughs> and then when I show you the Carfax, you'll be like, uh, obviously, another Carfax error. Carfax lately has become good for service records. That's about it. There's too much. Uh, ass covering going on they figure if they the more bad information they put on there the safer they are um at the insurance company or wherever you know they're generating the information plus they get paid for the information by carfax which of course generates a whole nother set of motivations you know this thing's beautiful uh, my job in these videos no matter how nice a truck is like this, doesn't matter how nice it is, I'm supposed to be looking for the problems. Um, we have no problem getting 800 to 1,000 people a day seeing our vehicles online, especially this one. When they see the miles, it's going to be on fire with hits. Um, but it's my job to make sure that whatever's wrong is uh, no. And so I am uh, Mr. Negative. If there's something wrong, I'm going to show you. We'll go on a ride. I'll show you the Carfax, show you the Kelly Blue Book. Um, everything we know, you'll know. Has air ride suspension. The fillers on each side are right here. Obviously, the tires at Toyos look like 90% tread at least. Look at the tailgate. Usually a tailgate with a fifth wheel hitch. This fifth wheel hitch had something put in the top of it, but look how brand new that thing is. Looks awesome, doesn't it? This would be a very well-maintained, living indoors at night truck. And I would say belonging to someone over the age of 50 or 60. I mean, it's straight as hell. This thing is really nice. Here's the other filler for this side suspension, right? The manuals are way better than the uh, compressor ones with the switches inside the truck. Those things are a pain in the ass. Um, all right, let me fire this guy up. Let's see, it says 55,816 miles on it now. There you go. All right, before we go under the hood, here's the uh, Kelly Blue Book for an XLT long bed, eight foot bed with 55,810 miles. It would be 16,195, which to me, with that 55,000 miles on it and the condition this thing in, seems really, really low. 
but I report the news. I don't, you know, I don't make it. Anyway, basically Carfax blends the total loss history, which is theft. It has nothing to do with the title. That is what a pro total loss when someone gets paid when something gets broken. Your house gets flooded, your um, car gets stolen and isn't found, they give you a total loss. It's not a title, okay? It's a clear title. Victim was paid a total loss. Accident reported, I've already been over that. I have no idea what they're talking about. But they come up with a value of 18280 which seems to me to be a lot more realistic than the Kelly Blue Book. There's the VIN. Um, accident report, total loss. Never salvaged, total loss paid uh, to victim. That's how that happens. All right, so it was born in Lilton, Colorado. He drove it some until 2010. It's got 37.7. And then in 2016, it's got 45,000 miles. Two years later, it's got 47.1. And then it looks like the last service was 10.9 of 19 with 52,000 miles on it. So 3,000 miles ago, it got, uh, so that's, it's got 3,000 miles on the tires. Tires, brakes, oil and filter, air filter. Um, five, six months later, it was stolen on 415 tax day. It was stolen. And then the next run, in between 615, it was recovered. But in between, they report damage to right front. Um, how do you do that when it's not here? Okay. I mean, it was stolen on 415. This was reported in between being stolen and being recovered. Clearly a mistake. Anyway. Um, let's go under the hood and I will show you around under the hood. All right, first of all, there's your Ford stamp. So you know that's an original fender. They don't replace them with original fenders, all right? When there's a damage, they replace them with aftermarket because original fenders are a fortune. There's your Ford stamp on the core support. The cack boot is that blue sleeve right there, okay? New battery on this side, Ford stamp here, Ford stamp on the on the draw, passenger fender. So you know this is original. Nothing happened up here. There's that is false. Take off the oil cap. No blow by at all. Zero. And the hood. There's the Ford stamp on the hood. Everything up here is original. All right. Go here, go to the window, up and down, door locks. Whoever's on this truck, be quick, because there's going to be a lot of interest in this thing. I mean, look at the seats. I mean, this thing is literally as perfect as you can get for an 04. It's almost as perfect as you can get for a 19 or a 20. Close that window. Obviously, this truck was indoors at night because there's absolutely nothing going on at the bottom of the doors. No rust at the bottom of the doors, nothing on the rocker moldings, nothing. I recommend taking that off. Knowing kneecaps I've taken off and shins I've ruined on that. Ugh, take that off. I like to have all my skin damaged and shin damage taken away i recommend taking it off when i'm getting out there's the uh bin on the door okay window window let's see door locks it's got a power seat which is unusual on an xlt forward especially on an extra cab up down got a tilt wheel let's see mirror out in up and down other side out in up and down there's the air spring installed on vehicle max minimum pressure five maximum 100 so you got the little sticker there for you there's your tilt wheel get in here it's still a little warm today it was nice this morning it was like in the 
low 80s maybe. But I still think we have a shot at 100 today. A couple days after Labor Day. All right. <laughs> In the corner but today if you want to jump right in your corporate guy radio works cd player old school cassette player cup holder trailer brake toe see the toe on right down here on and off okay um what else we got let's turn the air up here it's hot and the air is blowing ice cold i would expect it in this truck and it's nice uh, that feels good all right windshield wipers Let's see, it's got a sticker up here. I'm kind of having trouble reading it. It's an oil sticker from Johnson's Automotive Repair in Colorado. I can't really tell, but we know it had the oil change at 52,000 miles, so it's not, not a problem there. But all right, let's see. That was easy for a floor shifter. It's in low range, four by four. Put it in drive. Put it in reverse. So that's reverse and four low. Now we're gonna put it in four high. Low range goes away. Now we're in four by four. A little quicker. And it is now that we're in four high. So that's drive in four high. And this is reverse in four high. Perfect. Neutral. Now we're gonna go to two high. To two wheel drive. Two high. To two wheel drive. Now we're in two wheel drive. All the four by four stuff's gone. Let's go for a ride. All right, if you come here to drive this truck home, buy a trailer on your way and uh, you take it home with you. This thing's sweet. You don't see them like this very often. Well, I don't. Uh, see our roads here? This is what you pay uh, taxes for in Tucson. Guess which party runs Tucson? I'll bet you can't guess. I'll bet you can, actually. Um, anyway, if you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and the $250 dock fee, okay? Um, if you're gonna pay by wire and ship it out of state, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it, there'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title. This thing runs great. We'll fill out the title with your name, your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan that into your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately. This thing runs awesome. <laughs> and uh, uh, we'll mail it to you. We would scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Um, you will have the truck shipped to you. The title will already be in your mailbox. When the shipper shows up with the truck, you'll take the truck and the title to motor vehicles in your city and get plates. It's very simple. Um, if you need help with shipping, please let us know at the beginning of the transaction. Uh, we can help. I can do it for you, my, uh, the whole thing for you. We can roll it into the price of the vehicle for your, uh, for your, uh, uh, for your loan uh, or you know, we just give you a phone number to call or you can do it yourself. It's not a big deal. Whatever you want to do, we'll do, okay? Um, but if you need help, let us know early. Uh, deposit's $500. Once we have your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Uh, this is going to be very popular. You don't see things like this very often. This mileage, this clean a truck, almost never. In fact, never is the answer, all right? So... It's gonna be a fist fight. Be ready. I have no idea what my brother's gonna put this at, um, but uh, be ready with your deposit. All right. Uh, last part of every video, I say the same thing. The Auto Mall is located a half a mile east of here. At the Auto Mall, they have salesmen to pay. They have a beautiful location that's expensive with a, you know, fountains in the mall next door and perfect paving that obviously we don't have. Um, they also have attendants serving lattes and scones in the lobby. Uh, all that stuff you pay for, when you buy this truck there, you're adding a couple thousand just for the stuff I mentioned. They also know at the Auto Mall, if they sold you this truck and it broke, you'd bring it back and say, fix my truck. They had at least $500 to $700 for future repairs. And if that $500 to $700 doesn't fix the truck that they sold you, they'll just take it back and sell it to somebody else without fixing it. That's what they do, okay? Um, so that's why you're paying thousands of that. You'd pay 20 grand for this truck plus, 20 plus for this truck at the auto mall. Probably 21, 22, you know? And you bring it back and say the window motor doesn't work or the radio stopped working. And they'd be like, oh, we can afford to fix that. But if they say, if you know, it's an injector, they'll be like, well, here's your money back. And they just sell it the way it is to somebody else. 
who may not notice or may not know or whatever. Uh, we don't do that. We charge you a lot less money for the vehicle so that you can buy, afford to pay for it with the money you saved at the time of purchase. Your truck is your truck on day one. This thing's awesome. No blow by, beautiful truck, clear title, verified low miles, but we're not Nostradamus. Not a single vehicle in our inventory do we know is not gonna break today. That would be a lie. That's what they do at the auto mall. They tell you that everything's perfect until it's not. But they charge you $600 in case it's not, so you can come back later. Um, we're saving you that money up front so you can fix your truck. This truck isn't gonna break unless you put it in a ditch or a lake or crash it uh, or never service it. Um, beautiful truck. Um, gosh. Like I said, my job is to find what's wrong, and it's this one is kind of impossible. It doesn't even have any rock chips in the windshield. Not a star. I don't see anything. Nice truck. Thank you for your time.